How did you and Bros Labros meet? So we met in November 2008, I think. Uh, Chichi Larry's birthday uh, in Paris. Um, we spoke about uh, life and we spoke about maybe doing something together. Um, uh, he told me he was inspired. He had the idea of doing something like uh, with a zombie character. Uh, watching a video I did on YouTube when I was uh, playing a, a vampire or something. Something I did myself, by myself. So from that came the idea of doing something with uh, zombies. Yeah, Completely different as Otto that I did before. So yeah, that's it. And then one year later we did the movie. Uh, very fast. I mean, very intense because it was uh, during eight days, something like that. Mm -hmm. It seems to be long. It seemed to be long, but it was uh, eight days. It's not not that long. So. And uh, did you follow a script or? Uh, you no, not really. You we had the, the kind of synopsis. We have something to to read as the story of each day, but it was not very precise. Uh, I didn't have any script, no. And I was. I don't have any dialogues. Mm, also. I know. I'm just a. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there are two versions of, mm -hmm. of the film: the soft version and the hard. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you uh, work on it? I, I mean, there was um, the soft version is just uh, the, the other version with the. We got the palm. Yeah. Cut, cut yeah. Out. So basically, we did the, sh the shooting in itself was a palm. Mm -hmm. I mean, during the. Uh, the shoot, it was uh, like a, a wheel pole, yeah. We did also some uh, shots of uh, walking in the streets or speaking with uh, homelessness, but we shot like we shot like five scenes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, For me, the, the more uh, logical things was was to play the porn version, but it's impossible because the reality of the festival makes it um, harder, harder. But um, um, the softcore version, yeah. I, of course, I see, I see uh, something more like a dream or like a schizophrenic. Uh, this this is less, less narrative than the the porn one mm -hmm. because you cut some some things, so you then you get lost. Because me, I li I leave the thing like this. I leave the, the shooting like this. I leave the shooting with the uh, the porn uh, the porn situation. So it's different. It's completely different from the softcore version. Mm -hmm. It's less logical for me, yes. but we can't show it. So. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you're here in Locarno with mm -hmm. two films, mm -hmm. and uh, you're on competition with mm -hmm. both. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you thinking about changing something in your career, or it's just an episode? I don't really have so much time to think about it. Um, I don't expect so much things, you know? I just do the things, I work, I do the job, and then I do something else. I try the next thing. but. Maybe we change, yeah, of course, some, some, something because we already speak about it without seeing anything. So maybe it, uh, it gives an interest to people. But I don't know. Maybe we will forget me in two years or one year. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe, not. <laughs> maybe not. But I don't, I don't expect uh, that much you from that. You started working in porn in France before uh, moving to the US, right? Yeah, I did. You, uh, you were working in the fashion. I did fashion at 18, yeah. Assistant, right? yeah, exactly. Um, from 18 to 20, 23, 24, I did fashion assistant. So I did a lot actually, but I um, I decided to quit because I didn't find it so interesting. Like it. No, I didn't like it. And uh, <coughs> I took one year break of year, one year break, and then I decided to, to train more and to. Uh, to make my body more noticeable, I would say, yeah, like that. So I've been noticed on the website uh, by a French guy from this company, uh, the French company, we did, we did some photo shoots. Mm -hmm. And I think two months later, I did my first porn. Mm -hmm. I was 20, 24, 25, 25. Mm -hmm. From there, I did like uh, three movies or two movies, something like that. I was on a, a cover of the DVD and I've been noticed by a, a US company. So I, uh, six months later, after the movie was uh, released, I went to USA to shoot uh -huh. my first one. You've been there for a long time now. Five years. Five years, it's a lot. It's a lot for that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And how is it working in the US, in the, in the industry? What's the difference? I felt more um, 
safe maybe because you have a lot of people around you who are taking care of you even if they are lying to you for some contracts or stuff like that because that's the business it's like mm -hmm. that i felt very like um i felt that i was working with more responsible people mm -hmm. and more aware of your career and your image mm -hmm. because in france you have no real business you don't have any business in france about porn you have straight porn of course because straight is all over the world it's here, but, uh, of course but in gay porn, it's not, it's not that interesting. So it's kind of a random and a, no. I had to go. If I really don't really want to do something in my uh, career, I had to go to US. So yeah, and then went went very fast. It goes very fast when you go to US. You started your first porn. It it takes like three months to make you a, a star, like they say. So yeah, maybe it's too so fast. fast. Maybe it's too fast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How, how much does it account the fact that you're European? French especially for, for your Ma career. Maybe it, it made me more, uh, is a problem for the, the legal question of uh, working on the US territory because mm -hmm. you have, when you're European, you, you, there's a law against that. You can't really work uh, yeah. on the US territory. Um, then the fact that I was uh, uh, French, maybe like for the star system, it made, it made me more exo exotic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And people were thinking that I was Arabic. Mm -hmm. So that was something like kind something of new uh, for, for them. Okay. Yeah, something scary and something attractive at, yeah, the, at the yeah, same yeah, time. Sure. But I was not. But I'm not Arabic. But there's a confusion with the with the first poll I did was was um, the name was Arabesque. Mm -hmm. I had ah. this tattoo on my back, so people were thinking that there were a connection between this. But I was <coughs> working with uh, this okay, uh, with this other movie that you are. Uh, Christophe Honoré. Uh, Mm -hmm. How was it? You different. It's different because you have dialogues and you, you have dialogues. Yeah, you have few. You don't have so many, but you have you have dialogues. Um, it was more, I would say, emotional in a way. Um, there's a lot of moments that I didn't really control myself because he, he tried to capture some moments. I was not very under control because I uh, I love to be in control of my myself. I love. I don't like to show this side of the face. I don't like to show th that expression. So when I've seen the movie, the first time I was alone with my computer, I was a little shocked because I've seen some some sides of myself I didn't want to see. You and didn't want to show, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it was kind of um, embarrassing, but in a good way, in a good way. So it's very... So you're satisfied with that? Uh, Embarrassant. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there's something very uh, vulnerable, vulnerable yeah. and sensitive in, the, in this in this movie and that we've never seen before. I think you're happy with the results. Uh, yeah, of course. Of seeing you, maybe one of the two films will win <laughs> the competition. <laughs> we will see on the stage. Uh, at the it's end of the for me. It's already great that people are gonna watch it here. Mm -hmm. It's already great. It's, it's in competition, but it's, if I don't win, it's fine. I'm not expecting anything. <laughs> It's no, I know it's not important. No. It's, a, it's a good. Occasion. But then, yeah, then you have that. It's another. Yeah, it's a. Um, it's a big detail at the end. If if I win something, yeah, yeah. If, if the movie wins something, more than me. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Prepare yourself for the role in Bruce's uh, movie. Like. Uh, so we did. Have you watched uh, some zombie movies? So in your. Uh, I've been. Yeah. Um, he sent me some links on YouTube to watch some kind of expression I had to do or some growlings or some stuff like that. But um, he was really open-minded also to have some uh, uh, opinions about what I wanted to do also, even on the look or if I had some ideas. Um, the makeup artist was very crazy, <laughs> was crazy, in a good way and in a bad way because we had different issues with him. But he was very creative in his mind. so. That was interesting working with him. I I told him I wanted to do that something like this for the color of the skin. I wanted to do something with the teeth, different teeth. Um, we had a first uh, meeting in May before shooting the movie. We shot the movie in September, so we had a first meeting in LA with the makeup artist uh, in May June. So I was prepared, yeah. yeah. But yeah. you're a fan of. Uh horror movies or zombie movies. Yeah, especially. I love zombie movies. Uh -huh. All different kinds, even the, even the last ones, even if they're not that great, I still like to do some uh, <laughs> some splatter things and some blood and some uh, violence. I, li I like violence, even free violence. Mm -hmm. Why not? Why not? Yeah, absolutely. In the fiction. <laughs>
in the fiction, yeah. yeah. Even old ones, I love the, the old ones from uh, Romero, the one uh, oh, yeah. in white and right. black, where they are very slow, like uh, in a bad way. But I like, I still like to watch it. Yeah, yeah. They're great. They're not that scary, actually, when you see, no, when you no, see no. the old ones. They're not very, they're very slow. <laughs> you can't escape from them. But the last ones are very like. <laughs> <laughs> they run. It's yeah, scary. No, no, no. You are really convincing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but I'm a nice yes, zombie. I'm a nice one. I'm not. I'm not I like. Know, I'm I not know. killing people. I know. I found the film kind of a romantic. To be I honest. find it was kind of yeah, melancholic, romantic. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't think this the movie Les Zombies is provoca provocative mm -hmm. because it was banned in Australia. I heard this, there's nothing provocative in this movie. I don't see why. Maybe it's because of gay sex. Maybe maybe it's an Do excuse. You think, uh, yes. this is it's not uh, about horror or, horror or violence, it's about... No, it's not. So I think it's about... It's game. not violent enough to be no. violent. No, I think it's just thing. like uh, something like this. Or, uh, yeah, probably. probably. That's what That's I agree. Yeah. So it's kind of hypocrite. <laughs> but it's fine, because then people were speaking it's about it even it more, and they were talking about it. I think it. that was a, a good surprise for yeah. the movie, because uh, everybody talked and wrote about it. It was on the news and on the net and on the blogs. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Merci.